And in the next installment of Day in the Life on Sailing Vessel Panda, we have potato leakage. <laughs> You wanted bread, right? Yeah, that'd be great. So, landfall. Landfall is breakfast. Our traditional landfall breakfast being? Uh, bacon, eggs. I'm doing peppers and onions and like an egg scramble with bacon, toast, and we have coffee. Oh, which yeah. is really nice. Freshly brewed coffee. I'm had coffee all for like almost a week. Mm. So yeah, so we got breakfast going and since we arrived at night, it's really exciting. Like waking up in the morning and then opening the hatches and seeing what the landscape looks like in the daytime. So let's go check it out. Here we go. This is the east coast of Puerto Rico. Somewhat protected anchorage here. It's weird, it's like a ghost town. We haven't seen one boat yet, and actually not even one person. So it's really weird. But we're gonna move um, move anchorages. This was just to stop for last night, and we're gonna go more inland. There's a bunch of marinas and an anchorage outside of a few marinas there that we'll uh, utilize. I think I'm like extra extra fascinated by seeing the the coast of Puerto Rico because of the mountainous nature. I haven't seen mountains in like two Christmases ago. Yeah, so two years, Amanda and I visited uh, my family back in Reno, Nevada and spent a lot of time in the mountains. That was great, skiing in the winter. But since then, uh, I don't think I've been anywhere that's real mountainous. So this is like extra special to see these really tall mountains. I guess this is like a 3,500 foot mountain and just going up into this kind of permanent cloud base that seems to hang over Puerto Rico. It's just a stark difference from Bahamas that is completely flat. Bahamas it's like barely anything over a hundred feet. So this is uh yeah this is extra special. <laughs> Look at this awesome breakfast. Eggs, bacon, Biscuits, it's so delicious. Thank so you for this kick-ass breakfast, honey. You're welcome. So Enjoy landfall breakfast. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so part of coming to a new country, or for us back to the United States, is checking in at Customs Integrations. Locally, it's pretty cool with the United States, they have this app on your phone that you could do the check-in process. So here we go, we're gonna report our arrival. Okay, we've entered all of our names and passport information. Now we can submit arrival and we see what happens. Yep, now we got confirmation. Our trip has been submitted, so I say okay. And there we go, there's our arrival. It says status pending. A waiting review by a CPP officer. Like Amanda is so freaking nervous, like we're entering like this totally foreign country and might not be allowed in. I don't know, I've just been reading probably too much. Yes. This is US soil, we're allowed here. It's just a matter of being worried, I guess, about the times and what they're gonna say to us. Like, I don't know, authorities, probably freak, you freak, out. freak me out a little bit and they might be like well what are you doing here and like you're not allowed here anyway not gonna get into it i'm just worried that's all mm -hmm. uh, i'm wearing my good vibe shirt <laughs> <laughs> all right uh yeah okay stop Back. stressing yeah all right so now we just have to wait for a phone call and then we go from there Hi, I'm just connecting uh, with you after trying to video conference, um, checking in. Okay, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great, how are you? Fine, which vessel are you on? Panda. Okay, one moment, please. Well, are you on pleasure? Is this a, a trip for pleasure? Uh, not really, since everything is locked down. <laughs> oh, 
That's what I mean. So what's the purpose of the trip? You're gonna stop here and leave and depart somewhere else? Uh, no, we're just gonna stay here while and wait out. We're looking for a safe harbor just to stay um, under lockdown. Like we've been under quarantine where we came from too. So. Where to part of? Lo those Palominos. That's not a part of entry. No, we came in the middle of the night and we needed to just anchor. Okay, so you, you need to, where you came from? Bahamas. Okay, for checking, you need to report to the place authorized where we can go and inspect the vest. Oh, okay. Inspect the other passenger. So, uh, I got the, uh, I got the, uh, your room application. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and deny it. Okay. And, and as soon as you arrive to a port of entry, you need to notify us in order for uh, us to conduct the inspection. But to be a port of entry. But where are you, are, you, are you aware of the uh, other restrictions that, you have, that they have in this area right now? Yes, I'm aware, but I'm, that's why we weren't going to go to a marina. So. Okay, but in order for to clear it, you need to be in a port of entry. For us to inspect the vessel, you need to be in a port of entry. Does that is, does that mean going to a marina though? Yes, the marina are the the port of the authorized port of entry for us. Okay, I just was clarifying. So you on the Caribbean. Uh, we were on, under sail for six days, but we were in the Bahamas for like a month. Any, any, any of you two guys uh, stay or join any systems of uh, uh, fever, cough, or anything like that? No, we've been uh, in the Bahamas. We were under quarantine as well, so okay. no no right. signs. I, I, I just warn you, you might be stuck you know, on, on this area because there's a lot of uh, patrol by, by the local government. Okay. So just be aware of that. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for letting okay. us know. All right. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Well, we've been instructed to go to a marina for the official check-in. It's Puerto del Rey. Puerto del Rey. Puerto del Rey Marina. It's like five miles away. So we'll pick up anchor now from where we're at. Sail at five miles. Luckily, it's like downwind. We should be able to sail most of it. And they just instruct us to show up to the fuel dock and we'll tie up and uh, and then I guess an officer can come inspect the boat and we can finish our check-in here to Puerto Rico. So let's go. So we just finished checking in. Uh, that was a whole ordeal. We motored out of the marina and we're sailing to our anchorage. So we are just trying to sail up. Is this Isla Marina? And there's a little anchorage just right here we're gonna tackle. And I just want to put a little plug to our head sail maker, UK Sailmakers. This one was made out of a loft in Miami. And this is our first time like trying it upwind, really, really sheeted in tight. And it is performing really well. I can even sheet in a little tighter, but at this wind angle, it's pretty good. My main, I, I probably could make some adjustments there. It's a little bit too curved. Performance like the upwind performance is super good. Six so we're doing 6.8 knots with 13 apparent. Oh, we didn't clean up. Look at this bad boy perform. The island of Puerto Rico. It's really cool to be here, even though we can't like go ashore, this whole quarantine COVID thing, but. It's beautiful to look at from here. Who's the captain now? I am the captain now. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. So it's a little hard being a cruiser in this time of COVID just for the fact that when you're trying to check into a place, in this case, it's even our home country, they're like, well, why are you here? And it's hard to explain that we can't just go home because there is no home, quote unquote. Our home is our boat. Our home is wherever our anchor is dropped. Um, but kind of explain that to the guy. He's like, oh, OK. And he didn't quite understand it at first, but then, uh, then he got it. So anyway, we are here in our home country. United States, Puerto Rico. This is the great city of Fajardo. Someday we'll get to explore it maybe. 
the meantime, we found this little anchorage. There's a marina here, a little island that's protecting us. And Amanda's gonna do her snubbing action. That's anchored. Solid. <laughs> this is where we spent the next two weeks quarantining in Puerto Rico. Rain or shine, we kept ourselves busy and entertained. Boat wash day. So we haven't seen rain in a long time, actually. Like, not a good rain like this. It's so been probably a month. Yeah. Our whole time in Georgetown, there was nothing. So we decided, or Darren has decided to volunteer as tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I just agreed that it was a good idea. <laughs> because I'm down below trying to keep dry. Yes. Clean boat. Boat. Ah. And in the next installment of Day in the Life on Sailing Vessel Panda, we have potato leakage. I didn't know potatoes leaked. Uh, no, yeah, we have this awesome big sweet potato. Unfortunately, can't throw it show you because I threw it the heck out of the boat but it had gotten like mushy on one side and I didn't know potatoes had this much moisture in them but it got our whole cabinet totally wet yeah so Amanda <laughs> is now desperately cleaning out our whole pantry yeah uh, at least it doesn't smell bad like most things when they rot they smell bad this yeah. actually smells really sweet and delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's like not bad at all. No. So. So I'm, I'm not, not terribly mad. I'm just annoyed by having to go down in here all the, like it, I'm a little short. So I have to always like pull myself in and tuck myself down to get to the back. Cause it leaked everywhere and under everything. So everything had to come out basically. It's just. <clears throat> It's Seems. a great opportunity to reorganize again because things just get shoved in there sometimes all willy-nilly when I'm cooking, so. Who's willy and nilly? Really? Yeah, anything on a boat is always harder to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, what else we got day in the life of Panda? Uh, I've been over here editing this morning. This one is exporting. So we got through all of our revisions. It's cool, we have kind of a cool process that we've gotten in the rhythm of doing where Amanda pretty much puts the entire episode together and then at the very end, she hands over to me where I do all the audio equalizing and balancing and then kind of just a like a rough, a final draft review. So then we make any changes and once we both give the thumbs up we export the final like high quality product list. but once that video is done rendering then my next task is i filmed some content for a hydro generator video that explains like electrical stuff for the hydro generator and some recent um, improvements i made to it and some people on the youtubes were asking for some more information about it yeah that's like my project today and besides cleaning out the pantry, the project you didn't know you were going to have, what else are you going to do today? I worked out earlier. So I actually haven't thought past working out today and now this new project. <laughs> yeah, so um, what do you think you'll do after this new project? I might practice my ukulele. I mean, didn't do it yesterday. I'm trying to do 10 minutes a day. It's the ukulele time. Now I'm going to do some reading. So the current two books I've been reading are one is this book called World Cruising Routes. Thanks to my sister for getting me this for Christmas. Woo! Uh, it's by Jimmy Cornell. 
awesome book for planning like ocean passages, what to expect, kind of some waypoints to follow, um, time, best times of the year, seasons, that sort of thing. This is coming really handy right now because we are deviating pretty large from our original plan. So anyway, this gives us options. And then I read this book like when we first got the boat, but it was before we really sailed, so I didn't know much about what they're talking about. Now that we've done over 3,000 miles of ocean sailing, I have a better understanding of what they mean, though we haven't been in any bad storm. So I like reading this again and understanding uh, their concepts. I'm sweating. What does worrying do? Is there a saying for that? Yeah. Okay, because I think you're thinking of a different saying where it's like, what is that where it makes an ass out of you? No, that's assuming. Assuming. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> Is this the person? Quirk, 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 quirk. I don't remember the last time I showered. I see potatoes in our future. Not like... <laughs> <laughs> our future is potato. We I'm strive to be potato. potato. You are what you eat. We like to label our cans. Chick boobs. That's chick boobs. 